Well, let's take our Bibles, turn to the book of Genesis in chapter number 3. I'll, I'll be honest, I don't even know how to preach after all that we've heard. I mean, I was sitting down there and I started thinking, we're at the end, so I might as well go to the beginning. <laughs> I mean, we heard preaching on everything, but... Uh, Sitting there, I started thinking about what he was talking about, and I was already thinking it down there on the pew about salvation, how that's been preached a lot, and I, I want to try to give you something that'll help you this evening, and I'll be quick. Genesis chapter 3 and verse number 1, the Bible said, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made, and he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, You shall not eat of the tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and it was pleasant, uh, and that it was good for food, and it was pleasant to the eyes, and the tree desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her. And he did eat and the eyes of both of them were open and they knew that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the midst of the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And, God, and the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave of the tree, and I did eat. And the woman said, uh, or, And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. I'm preaching on this thought of yours. I preached this twice. Once was in children's church, which will explain the simple name that I'm fixing to give you for the title of this message. I'm preaching on what do we see? In Genesis chapter number 3. What do we see in Genesis chapter number 3? I'm going to show you three things and I'll be done. Number one, we see some religion. Number one, we see some religion. It said that they sewed fig leaves together. Some of y'all in here have been hiding behind religion for far too long this evening. Uh, you say, what is the picture of a religion? They sewed fig leaves together. They started taking these fig leaves off this tree. And, uh, and after they took them off the tree, they decided to make themselves aprons. They started making themselves aprons after they took them off the, off the tree. And I started thinking to myself about whenever they started taking these off the tree, as soon as they pluck it off the tree, they start dying. So you know what they have to do? The stuff that they're making is starting to deteriorate and they're having to add more and add more and add more to try to hide themselves from the presence of God. And I started thinking about this world and the religious crowd of this world about how they're having to add more and more and more to themselves. Hey, that's why they're having to add the lights. That's why they're having to add the rock concerts. That's why they're having to add all the extra stuff. Change the Bible. Change the preaching. Have all the singing that they have because they're trying to add to something that doesn't need added to. Hey, when God saves you, you didn't have to add nothing to you and you don't have to add nothing to your salvation because God's salvation was enough this morning and it's dying and that this fig leaf religion is dying and you keep having to add more to what you got. They had some religion. They had some religion this morning. Some of y'all, all you have is religion. Some of you young people have been in children's church and main services and you've heard religion and you've had religion and you've had your salvation behind religion. But may I say you don't just need religion, but you need yourself a relationship with the Lord. We see there's some religion. They keep having to add more secularly, not only religion, but we see there's some rejection. There's some rejection. You say, where's that at? Verse number 10. And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden. I was afraid because I was naked. And I hid myself. Mark this down. Religion and rejection will always coincide together. You're hiding behind your religion. You're hiding your sin. You come to church and everything's good. Now you look pretty and you look good. But hey, but deep down on the inside, there's something wrong. And you're trying to hide from God saying, Lord, I come to church. Lord, I wear a suit and tie. Lord, I look good. But deep down inside, there's something that's wrong and you're lost. 
And there's some of y'all, y'all look good, and y'all look good to the members, and y'all look good to the preacher, and you look good to everybody else, but when you go home, you're hiding from God here, and you go home, and you act like hell, and you're living for the devil because you are rejecting God. Not only did, did Adam and, and not only did Adam reject God, but Cain rejected God. Adam hides from God, but Cain stands up in the face of Almighty God because his parents decided to hide from him. Some of you parents in here, I know I don't have kids, and that's all right. I've seen it go time, I've seen it happen time and time and time again. Hey, I've seen it come to pass in many families. I don't even have to have kids to preach on this. You say, why? Because I've seen it. Parents hiding from God, parents hiding their sin from God and the preacher, and then look where the kids are now. They out in the world and don't want nothing to do with what God has done. Hey, I thank God for the heritage that I have. I, I was born in a family. Hey, we weren't we weren't going to church, but thank God they got saved and didn't try to hide it from everybody. But thank God they lived it and they loved it. And now I've reaped the benefits. There's religion. There's rejection. There's a lack of responsibility. They blame each other. And the only person who doesn't try to blame anybody is Satan. Religion, rejection, lack of responsibility. There's some repercussions. He said, by the sword of thy face, thou shalt, uh, thou, th- 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 he said, y'all shall have bread. He said, they'll kill the ground. He said, you're going to die. Satan caused everything. Eve listened to everything, but Adam failed to protect everything. I- I'm done right here. Not only is there religion rejection, but lastly, I'm done. We find there's some redemption. There's some redemption. Hey, some of y'all are hiding from God, and some of y'all have rejected God. But God is still in the saving business this evening. You've heard message after message after message. You've heard preaching after preaching. You've heard songs about getting saved. Hey, and God is still in the restoration business and the redemption business this morning. Verse 21, and I'm done. Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothe them. Where's Turner at? Is he back there? Can I, can I borrow him real quick? Will he, is he asleep? All right. All right. You, come here. I need you for a second. That's why I'm using him. R- religion says this. Religion says this. This is the aprons. Adam picks these aprons and he... He looks, I'm not giving you this, Brother Jack. I'm taking something from you in a second. He takes these eight, this fig leaves off and he makes this apron and he wraps it around. This is the picture type, obviously. This is all an apron does. Right. Can I take this off? This is all it is. It, it covered, you can see everything. You can see it all. Hey, your religion and your rejection of God, God still sees your sin. And your fig leaf religion ain't hiding nothing. You might hide it from the preachers. You might hide it from the the deacons. You might hide it from everybody. But say, hey, you're not hiding it from God. Adam puts this stuff on Eve. He says, Eve, we messed up. We, we, We ate of the tree when we weren't supposed to. And now God's mad at us. He said, he's coming back, and we, we got to hide. And about that time, they hear the voice of God walking in the midst of the garden in the cool of the day. So he says, Eve, all right, come on, Eve, let's hide. So he's got his aprons, but now he's rejecting God by hiding even more. And now he said, we got to hide from God. But God already knew where he was. And God knows where you are. God, hey, you feel that thing, that heart beating real fast? Because God is pinpointing something in your life because you need to get born again. And he calls Adam out, and they come with me. They they step out, and he says, "He said, what have you done?" And they said, "We eat, we ate." So God, instead of letting them stay like that, instead of God letting them stay like that, God goes and finds them come on now. a lamb. God finds them a lamb, finds them a sacrifice, and instead of letting them stay like that, God covers them. 
God redeems them. Yeah. You say, why? Because God is a redeeming God. And I don't know where you're at. I don't know what you're going through. But God can save you. And God can redeem you this morning. Thank God he touched me. Thank God he saved me. And thank God he redeemed me. Thank God for his redemption. Sing that he touched me song again. Hey, I thank God he touched me. Hey, I was a lost sinner on my way to hell. Hey, I was sitting back there like you just talked about. But thank God the good hand of God came to where I was and redeemed my soul. You know why I stand here with a suit and tie on? It ain't because I'm good. It ain't because I've been great. It ain't because of my works. It's because God has been good and gracious in my life. Thank God he redeemed me this evening.